But let's get to the gameplay anyways. Yeah! Alright, it's just like the arcade game, but it's missing some of the 3D effects and Parallel Tron. <laughs> of course, you probably don't know that because... I don't think the arcade game was even released in North America. I could be wrong on that, but I never saw it in any one of my arcades anyways. Yeah, look it up on YouTube. It's on YouTube. The Turbo version at least did, you know, a pretty nice job, I would say. Animal at least. Yeah, you can shoot, you can bomb, grab crystals, which you can use in shops. Unfortunately, the girl doesn't bow to you like she does in the... Uh, arcade version. Alright, let's get a speed up. Thank you and come again. <laughs> yeah, me and Jay use the come again joke in our review. Go see our review if you haven't already. Yeah, we like the game. I think Jay didn't like it as much as I did. But he's always jaded like that. And that was more like a first impression review where I really played this game from top to bottom when I was a kid and I knew a bit more about it than he did. Ha, I killed these dolphins. Yeah! Yeah, the thing is about weapons, they're cool and all, but they don't last forever. Okay. You want to kill all the enemies to get the bonus. If you don't kill a full set, you don't get the bonus crystals. Which you need to get in the shops. Oh, good thing. I thought that was the enemy. Oh, boss time. I want to get something. Alright, let's get the afterburner. Woohoo! Just like that second game, afterburner. Oh, yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, I think his name is Dr. Homari. Yeah. <laughs> they still kept the Japanese name in from the original title. They didn't call him uh, Jake or something like that. And pretty easy first boss. If you use the burner. Yeah. Look at that. Just destroyed a huge battleship there. Alright, so the story is this evil creep kidnaps your fiance and. Your fiance also has a key around her neck that's actually a key to a nuclear reactor. And if the main evil dude finds out about that, boom, we're screwed. <laughs> that, yeah, reactor is actually called Ordine. So if you don't save this girl, <laughs> man, we're in major trouble. All right, here's another cool bonus game. You pay this guy a thousand crystals or whatever. And he'll give you one of those bonuses down there to the side. But, you gotta click. Oh! I didn't click on the right one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's possible to get like 100,000 crystals, which is amazing. Oh, yeah, I love the music to the stage, too. careful. <laughs> See here's where the 3D rotation effects would come into play here but not on the TurboGrafx-16 version. It's all sprite based. But at least they tried to make it look 3D-ish. Yeah they also had to take out some Parallax Strong as well because <laughs> The Turbo Gusset scene can't do that very easily. You have to sort of play tricks with the system. But yeah, even games like Super Air Zonk, which were released in like 1993 for the Turbo Gusset scene or Turbo Duel, don't have a lot of pair that strong. <laughs> and this was a, <laughs> a 90, yeah, 89, 90s release, yeah. So you kind of you have to forgive Nako for that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill that thing. All 
All right, all these suds all get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any weapons. At least not yet. Besides, I want to save out some money. I think there's a chance to get one up if you get enough crystals. But it's not easy. I think you need 50,000 crystals to buy a one up in the net shop, and I'm only halfway there. Yeah, your crystals are in the bottom, yeah, left hand corner down there. Okay, come on. He's imagine. Yeah, so if you see the shooter for a Turbo Asset Seed, I say pick it up. Holy crap. It can get intense in a hurry. Alright, let's get the wide shot. Yeah, open up wide, baby. No. <laughs> Ooh. And you also get a little bit of temporary invincibility. Oh, shit. <laughs> All stun. <laughs> I hate this boss. Ah, yep. But I know it's pattern. Do, do, do. Yeah, I love this part. Ah. <laughs> Stupid turtle. What do we say? Nature's D student? Okay, fade in, fade in. I hate when my camera does that. Alright, we're underwater now. The problem is, I move a lot slower, and of course my weapon runs out of time. Yeah, that's the thing about buying weapons. You have to make sure that you get a good amount of usage out of the weapon before the timer runs out. Okay, so I definitely recommend getting the C power-up and the buster. It's expensive, but if you get the stock bomber or this one, it won't increase your speed. Thank you, come again. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, I can move a lot faster now, that's awesome. Yeah, it may not be arcade perfect, but at least they include the two player feature in this game, and that's awesome. I love shooters with two player modes. That usually means you can continue right in place, like when you die, <laughs> which I'll probably do in this playthrough, I won't actually start at a checkpoint. I will unlock some games like R-Type, Sinistron, and a whole bunch of other ones. <laughs> okay, you got anything good, girl? Eh, nothing really. And look at the prices again, so expensive now. Fourteen hundred for afterburner. That used to be like fifty thousand crystals. No, <laughs> I could be wrong. Ah, she's reading those prices on me. Holy crap! She knows I have more crystals. <laughs> I'm trying to save the world here. <laughs> Everything should be free. Oh crap! Almost died. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> now it's getting harder. First two sages were nice and easy. Oh shit, I missed the bonus area. Oh, I hate this boss here. Okay, I gotta stay up here, destroy this part. Problem is, is a uh, fire attack here is very erratic, hard to dodge. But if I use the bomb attack, I can at least destroy his red crystals there from a distance. Problem is, it takes a long time to hit them all. Okay, come on, I think I only got two left there. Yeah, come on. just have to be on the right angle to do it <laughs> without getting myself killed up here. Alright, you also see a 1-up down there. 
I don't recommend it. <laughs> don't recommend getting it right now, at least. Okay, we can do this. Move it closer. Oh, screw it. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange tip. You have really have to wait it out to really kill this boss here, but I don't know, it's a good way to not take any damage. Because you gotta conserve your lives for later at least. This is a pretty tough game. Like, it looks nice and simple and cartoony, but it does get tougher later on, trust me. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Okay. There we go. And now you get the one up. Alright, yeah. Now I got over 50,000 crystals, baby. Yeah, this is just a fun little shoot em up. <laughs> At least it has a cool sound effects. I love the way the laser sounds. It kind of sounds like the Guardian Legend. Okay, so what should I get? Ah. Uh, man, they all suck. I'll just uh, wait and get some good later. <laughs> Maybe I should have planned this Let's Play all a bit better, but <laughs> I know I can beat this game. I don't know if I can do it all in one sentence, but I don't need to. As long as I have enough continues, boom, I can beat it. Oh yeah, a little secret down there. <laughs> okay, you gotta shoot just right. Oh shit, I, I went too soon. <laughs> okay, I still got five lives left. Okay. Gotta shoot at the right angle. Yeah. Okay, let's do this again. Oh, the problem with this is... It's kind of slow. Okay, three, two, one, push! There we go. I got a home laser. Alright. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's probably one of the weakest weapons in the game. Okay, let's use it. Oh crap. Boss time. Oh, this guy is a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Okay, all my bombs are gone now. He's pretty easy though. <laughs> he just flies around shooting double lasers from the front and the back. The toughest part is finding him at the beginning when he has all his gun turrets on. What's up? There we go. Oh, give me some crystals. Oh. Okay, it does give me a crystal bonus at the end, but not when I actually kill them. That's not fair. Round five, all right. Just a few more stages to go, and we're done. Yeah, let's get all the crystals. You gotta be very careful on this stage, though. You got those new bouncing enemies, and these nasty enemies with the nasty five-way shot. And this stage is this, you know, all these new enemies in here, and limited space, it's really bad news. I recommend killing the enemies as fast as you can. Alright, let's do it. Three, two, one, push! Alright! Ha! <laughs>
All right, now I can afford that. Those stupid shop girls are outrageous prices. Holy crap. Yeah, it's going to be like 40000 for a weapon that lasts like 10 seconds. Thanks. I don't know, this soundtrack in the background here is probably my least favorite. <laughs> well, that's, this one in stage says, stage says it's going to be very annoying, just to let you know right off the bat. Oh, yeah, I definitely want some of that. <laughs> Alright, got another one up. <laughs> I might need it too. Ah. Yeah, you definitely need the bomb, use the bombs here. want some? Okay, and go through fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> Does anybody know that reference? I know Jay won't. I don't get your joke started, soldier. What do you mean? <laughs> oh! Okay. I'm dying here. I only got five lives. Okay. Let's get this one, yeah. Do, 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 do. Do. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Dragon Boss. There we go. Woohoo! <laughs> Only two hits. So cool. I definitely recommend getting that fire weapon. The fire bomb, yeah. There's limited ammunition, but man, you can use that anytime you want. Yeah, it's starting to get your air bombs, but it's so damn powerful. Did you see what I did to that boss? That boss is normally a huge pain in the neck. Oh yeah, and stage hits yeah, stage hits here is the <laughs> boss parade. Okay, I know it's going to be the turtle. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh, crap. Okay, I got to be careful. Oh, crap. <laughs> I hate the spread fire that it uses. Oh, man, that should hit it. I hate this thing. Okay. Normally the fire bomb works a lot better on this boss, but you sort of have to hit it with its explosion. And I sort of hit it with the bomb part itself. Alright. Okay. Give me some good 5,000 crystals. See, he's raising his prices too. Uh, asshole. Stupid rocket robot. <laughs> It's good to see that Rob the Robot is still getting work, but <laughs> it's kind of demeaning now. Alright, goodbye. Alright, get lost. <laughs> this is a Nako game, after all. Alright, it's sort of different from the other one. Now he's shooting turtles at me. <laughs> a bit easier than before, but not by much. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's easier too with the Pat Bomber as well. Cool thing about the Pat Bomber is, he'll give you a shield, yeah. You gotta love Pat Man. <laughs> Alright, let's get the free ship. Thank you, come again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just love saying that. Stop holding in on me. <laughs> the game knows that you have a shield, so it tries to screw you over. Okay, stupid dragon. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta be careful about this boss because he keeps on shooting. Unless you kill the eggs, boom, it's gonna cover the screen up. Ah. 
Okay. I think there are only a couple more bosses left and then we're good. Whoa! <laughs> Let's get this thing again. Yeah. Look at those prices. That's outrageous. Ah. Oh. Cool transformer. <laughs> okay, I think this is the main boss. Yep. He looks scrawny, but he's powerful. <laughs> There we go. One shot kills it. Mm. Yeah, those fireballs are freaking cool. Definitely recommend it. Okay, one more level and then we're done. Woo! I love this game. Yeah, it's not as fast paced as something like Magical Chase. Or it doesn't have quite the action like a place in Lasers would, but it's still a fun little shooting up. Very underrated too. You can find this one for, you know, practically five bucks. And six dollars on a, a Wii Virtual Console. Oh crap. Okay, I gotta be careful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This part is really hard to navigate through. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, here in this giant wheel, you can actually affect the speed of these things. Or the rotating area, at least. Oh, it just made it. Okay. Man, all these weapons suck. <laughs> I don't have enough money anyways. Except to get this. I hate those stupid missiles. I'll just keep my rigor soft. Okay, let's get that out of here. Okay, get the temporary invincibility. Yeah, and beat it. Oh, yeah. Those stupid egg-shaped things are back again, ready to jump around and annoy me. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Hurry up! Ah, shit. <laughs> it's hard to get a good shot on these things. <laughs> Everything's always rotating. Okay, I'm out of that part at least. Whoa! <laughs> it's those giant mouths again. It kind of reminds me of those uh, things that you always see in toothbrush ads. Brush your teeth! Or you kind of went out by this. Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, notice the uh, background music is just like stage one, but slightly different. <laughs> Usually I'm better at this. Okay, I'd be careful. <laughs> What's the deal with all these cape lots anyways? I guess, yeah, that's his name, uh, Kubalo. Or something like that. Oh, and I hate these enemies, you can't kill them. Fortunately, there's not too many of them. Okay, come on. <laughs> uh oh, boss time. Okay, where's that evil you know, jerk? Kidnapping my girl. You want some? Oh shit. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I know you're bad an asshole. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I got him. He's pretty tough. Ah! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Why is he wearing a halo? He kidnapped my girl for Christ's sake. Shouldn't be wearing a halo. Yep, I come to save you, baby. Yeah, and that's Ordine here for Turbograph Sit Scene. Okay, fade in, there we go. Yeah, that has a nice little ending to it as well. Fade it, fade it. <laughs> yeah, usually in Turbograph 16 endings, you just get congratulations or, hey, yeah, you beat the game, now go buy another one. <laughs> but, yeah, Navco Games, at least they gave you a nice ending. Remember, Dragon Spear was like that too. So if you haven't seen my review of Ordine, or a crazy little review that we did, <laughs> where we just played the first two levels and bitches about Pam Emerson, but <laughs> anyways, yeah, we still like this game. I gave it a 69 out of 100. Again, it doesn't redefine the trend too much. <laughs> You're just blasting stuff, shooting bombs. Flying through the air and go through shops. It's been done in air shooters before, but Ordine does it here pretty well. There's lots of cool weapons you can find. Good co-op action. Yeah, a good variety in the stages. Like you, you're suddenly finding like I don't know areas where the arena is rotating. You're finding creepy monsters. Now, what the hell are you doing with my girl there? <laughs> yeah, this I never got. Why is somebody pointing the gun that robbed a robot? <laughs> yeah, cool background music too. And there's a shop girl saying, hey, buy my stuff, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm bored here. It needs some money. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's a cool end boss. Is that it? I think that's it. That's the final screen. Yeah. Woohoo. And it did in like a, yeah, under 30 minutes. Alright, this is Star Soldier. Recommend you play some Wardine. Very cool. Underrated. Shoot them up. Yay.